Tadi saya daripada Ion. Daripada Ion? Uh -huh. So tengok mall-mall sini semua macam jalan kaki sampai kan? Okey lah. Dekat sini pun ada MRT, ada LRT. Hmm. Hello, Hello, Tadjah. Saya adalah Brandon. Saya adalah Ming Property Coach. What's up? Welcome to Brandon Go Property. I'm your property coach and explorer buddy. Today, we are responding to one of our viewers' requests. We will be visiting Cheras Maluri as a whole. Are you ready? Let's go! So here's a fun fact. We always pronounce this as IKEA. Actually, the correct Swedish pronunciation is IKEA. So Cheras has a long history to begin with. It all began in 1876. And Cheras is a big area whereby it can stretch all the way to Kajang border or it could be as close to city centre as where we at right now, Cheras Maluri. They say you see some of the address, it falls under Selangor and some falls under KL. And this whole part of Cheras all has its own identity. And this part of Cheras remains very different from the rest of the counterparts because we have way much more amenities, shopping malls, public transportations, which makes this place much more vibrant than the rest of the area. And how the name Cheras came by has different versions of it and it's hard to know which one is the true origin. But the few that I find the most interesting one is one of the Chinese trade men used the stream of Cheras River a lot. So, uh, in Chinese, Going back and forth means Zhao Lei, Zhao Lei. Then eventually people name it as Chiu Lai, Chiu Lai, then it eventually became Cheras. And another one that I find interesting is uh, there's one river which has a sunken tree being stuck for a really long time. And they named the river as Sungai Teras and that eventually became Cheras. Right my bad, this is Sunway Velocity. A 23 acres of integrated development which consists of residential development, offices, hotels, and also shopping mall. Where we have visited this morning, IKEA, is another 18 acres big lifestyle and furniture mall. So, these are the factors that drives and spurs this area of real estate. And also, if you look right around there, Aeon Mallory is also one of the mall that has been there for a very, very long time. So, these are the things that truly makes this area different from the other parts of Cheras. As we walk from the mall, you see we have all this covered walkway which leads towards these infrastructures like MRT. This is very crucial and a part of planning in urban development. As population grows, as infrastructure strengthens and improves, this will truly make this place a good place to live and it's really convenient for all the frequent users. So as you can see in this whole area, here's the MRT. This improves the accessibility of the area which brings convenience but also this part of Cheras being nearest to the city. It has the same pull factor as our previous video in Chan Saolin but it is very near to TIX. So the maturity of this financial hub, how would it affect this area would be really interesting to look at. Where we at is Jalan Galian and also right facing the main road is Jalan Cheras. These houses here, single story, semi D, about 2,400 square feet. In 2018, one of the units here was transacted for 1.5 million. And what's even more interesting is that just one street across here, the ones that facing main road during the year of 2015, was transacted for 1.67 million. In short, houses around this vicinity of Sunway Velocity had tremendously increased in value for the past five years. If you pass by the area of Aeon Maluri, the shops behind there, those are really old shops and some are leasehold, are left with 50, 60 years. People will still invest in those areas, not for the main purpose of, oh, I'm going to get very good rental, I'm going to get very steady increase in uh, capital gain, but rather it is looking at that location if there's an urban renewal possibility. Investors would look at it and say, hmm, I'm going to hold a piece of shop here and when there's development going around, I'm going to have that surge in the price, then I can resell to developers in a very marginal increment. So that's all for today's video. There's a lot of similarities of this area and Chan Saolin as a whole. But uh, this area is more of a developed version of Chan Saolin. That's all for today. If you like videos like this, share, like and follow us. We will see you in the next one. I have my coffee here.
Uh, Ayon, ini barbershop Nimrock. Aeon uh, Velocity dengan My Town. Mm-hmm. Ikea, empat mall. Dia berdekat dengan empat mall. So, senang lah. At least kan. Tapi kebanyakan dekat sini Chinese lah. Mm. Uh, sebab daerah ni semua kafe-kafe Chinese. Tapi kebanyakan customer, customer kita orang Chinese lah. 